the sports and our coverage of the 1990 Goldpin Coca-Cola Classic. This is a round two match between Chris Batson and Mark Ramsey. Ramsey beat Steve Lovell in the first round, 184 to 178. And Batson downed Fred Alsop in a great match, 257 to 242. The two bowlers now find themselves in the second round. I'm your host, Chris Bombalus. Joining me in the commentary team is Jeanette Baker. First up, it's Mark Ramsey from Queensland. His first shot on the left lane. Yeah, not a good start. Hate to see that big split. No, not necessarily a good start for Mark. He swung the ball right out to the left-hand side, as we see here. Believed he gave it enough room, but picked up that fraction too soon and through the nose left with the nasty big four split. Looked like it was heading for the gutter and back she came very hard. Just take out two in this one, Jeanette. At this stage of the game, it's better to go two to be sure. You need the pins in a one-game match. Takes two out safely. So a disappointing start for Mark Ramsey. His opponent is Chris Batson. He's from Lakemba in Sydney. He's been bowling for 23 years. His career highlights include the Sydney Open and the Southgate Open this year. Two tournaments in Indonesia in 89. Brisbane Masters, Milton Cup and Gold Coast Open in 88. And a perfect start for Chris Batson. Ten down in his first ball in this second round match. Chris is a very confident player. He's using a brand new piece of equipment here. He sends that ball out. He loves seeing the ball come back hard at the back end. Light hit getting the desired result. The mix on the pins as we see. Five pins, seven pin. They all move in slow motion. Ooh. Well, he definitely sent that one out and gave that heaps of room, but it possibly just came back a little bit too hard, a little bit too late, and left him with the 10-pin only. As we see, out between the second and the third arrow, still going out. Now it starts to come back, 6-pin dropping low in front of the 10-pin. Changes balls to go for the spare. Not a problem. Of course, most of the bowlers we're seeing are using a hard case ball going for their spare shot, so the ball will go straighter and give them less chance of missing the spare. Up on the line is Mark Ramsey. He's had a great 1990, the South Pacific Classic, the New South Wales Open, the Brisbane Cup, and the Redcliffe City Open. In 89, the Cool Foam Classic winner, the New South Wales Open, and the Queensland Open in 87. He won the Gold Coast Open. Came into the tournament as the fifth seed, and in the first round beat Steve Lovell, 184 to 178. Again, he hasn't found his spot. Well, he found the pocket on that shot. He gave it the room he required, but left with that nasty 6-8 split. As we see here, the ball going out, still going out, starting to come back, hits the pocket, but the ball going straight through. The look of disgust on Mark's face. Go for this one. Oh, dear. Never, ever looked likely. No, he, he knew that there was no shot for him once the ball was halfway down the lane. It just curved way too much for him and straight in the channel. Instead of hitting that six pin on the right-hand side, he went in the gutter. As we see this shot going for the spare, very long push away, high backswing, down with the shoulder underneath the ball. But he knew, he knew it wasn't going to make the spare. Mark Ramsey, he's been in great form this year. He's from Wavell Heights, a Brisbane City Council foreman. And not exactly the start he'd like in this round two match against Chris Batson. Two open frames. Can he get it on track now? A little bit too light that time. Probably trying to make sure that he was going to have a safe shot. He's had uh, two nasty frames to start with, two splits as he sends it out straight up through the ball as you can see by the release in it comes light leaving himself the three nine spare ball just not quite coming up high enough for him on that occasion how tough are these with a the sleeper behind well the idea is to aim for the back pin not necessarily the front pin see if he can do it nice good cover, cover. Good cover. A side good. relief from mark there thinking all I finally got close to frame. So we see Mark going for the spare, using the harder case ball, 
giving the ball room straight through and converting the two pins together. Heavy on that front pin, allowing for deflection to take the back pin. That's a now the man they've nicknamed the master tactician. Tactician or ice man, I don't know. <laughs> He's very, very cool customer, Chris Batson. We'll, we'll take a break here on Nines Wide World of Sports with Chris Batson in command and looking good in this second round match in the 1990 Goldpin Coca-Cola Classic. You may wonder how good bowlers are accurate. The answer to that is because they don't aim at the pins. They're placed 60 feet down the lane. It's much easier for them to aim through the arrows or dot area, which are much closer to them. Welcome back to Brown's Plains 10 pin in Brisbane. This is the scene of the 1990 Gold Pin Coca-Cola Classic. A man under a lot of pressure is Mark Ramsey. He'll sit and wait as his opponent, Chris Batson, from Sydney, comes to the line. At the moment, Batson is in front by 24 pins. He's coming off a strike, so Jeanette Hill will look to convert this one. Once Chris is locked in, he's very hard to keep out of the pocket. A bit high on the head pin that time. Yeah, he just he didn't seem to get through the shot quite as well that time, and, and therefore the ball came up on the nose. But he was fortunate enough to get away with the two pins together, as we see. Through the ball, elbow broken just a little bit too soon, and the ball takes off that little bit more at the end. Changing again to the harder case ball. Beautiful execution of the spare. Perfect cover, the ball touching both pins on the spare. Of course, right-handed bowlers, when they're shooting for a cluster of pins like that, should aim for the right-hand side of the front pin. Conversely, left-handers with a set of pins aim for the left-hand side of the pins left on the deck. This is Mark Ramsey. Opened uh, this match with two open frames. Closed one with a spare in the third. This is his fourth frame. He'll be looking to start a platform here. Strike would be perfect. Has he got one? Yes, he has. Great shot. Actually, I noticed that time, Chris, he changed equipment. He went to something a little bit harder. He's been using um, a soft case ball, and he's gone to using the ball a little bit harder, and he gets the desired result, the ball going a little bit longer, holding, not grabbing quite so hard, and all the pins disappear. So we see that shot, much stronger position at the foul line for Mark. He looked comfortable that time. Graphic illustration there from Pin Camp. So all the uh, pins back in the pit. Now, can he make it a double? He's been in great form in 1990. Went wide. The seven pin left for Mark on the left hand side there. Once again, at least he's got a little bit of confidence there. Releases the ball, sends it out towards the gutter but the four pin just a little bit low and not touching that seven pin. Trusted Good himself spare. that time, didn't he? Good spare. The left hand is that seven pin is really a problem under pressure and it takes a talented bowler like Mark to be able to execute as confidently as that in these conditions. That's a now. Ooh. Where's the manager? <laughs> well, you heard him there, he got real happy that time. <laughs> well, that shot as we see it go down, right, it hits the pocket really solid. The ball actually, the five pin went in front of the eight pin and the ball went off the back of the deck, consequently left with the spare. He makes it. It's funny he should ask for a centre manager. He himself is a centre manager at Bankstown in Sydney. That's correct. Let's have a look at the action of Chris, Chris Batson. On the spare shot there, just bringing the ball straight through the thumb, directed straight up to the ceiling to make sure he gets complete forward roll. It sounded like Chris actually lost that shot. He released it very, very early, and the, and the ball jumped for him on the back end, left in the baby split in the right-hand side, the 310 split. He'll once again change to the pink ball, which is a harder case. We see it going out just that fraction early on the lane, gets the ball to take off at the back end, left with the baby split. Ooh. 
Well, taking one there. Variation between these two players now is closing up. Really needs a strike, though, as we watch Chris Batson. Really Ball put, nearly lost it, didn't he? Well, he put muscle into that shot. He looks at his feet there, realises he hasn't finished at the foul on where he wanted to to execute that shot. This man now, a strike would get him right back into this match. We're approaching the end of the sixth frame. Mark Ramsey from Wavell Heights in Brisbane. Oh! That's yeah. wide. Great shot. A great shot. As we see again, going to the harder case ball, sending it out between first and second arrow on the left hand side, holding in front of the pocket, and he's pleased with that shot. Let's have a look at Mark, Ramsey. Watch it. He, thank you, he says, I've got one. That's Mark Ramsey. He knows he's back in the match. We'll take a short break here on Wire, Nine's Wide World of Sport. Back in a moment. Yeah, yeah. From Wavell Heights in Brisbane, and Chris Batson from Sydney. Two engaged in an enthralling battle. At this stage, Batson has his nose in front, but Ramsey is starting to find his mark. Ramsey, uh, Brisbane City Council foreman. Great year in 1990. Host of tournament wins. Yeah, now, when he gets a roll on, he is gets into that, locked into that mode. He's hard to beat. He loves, he loves to swing the ball out, Mark, and as we see here, high backswing, sends the ball starting out, trusting it beautifully, and back she comes, and there's no seven pin in that shot. Now the Iceman under pressure. Ooh. Actually, that was a little bit um, slow for, for Chris. He likes to come through the ball a little bit harder, and consequently he's left with the ten pin. A little bit more speed, perhaps got the ball down the lane a little bit more. Seems to be rushing his shots today. He's up very quickly. It's, it's a very easy thing to do, Chris, when, when you're under pressure and it's one game. As much as you tell yourself, don't rush it, don't hurry, sometimes it's easy to get up there real fast. Chris flattening the ball out for that right-hand corner, make the ball go straighter, and the ball covers the pin beautifully, right on that right-hand edge. In that cliffhanger, the first round match against Fred Alsop, he took his time, but he's up very quick this time. Again. Lucky to get out of that split. Going a little bit high on that lane. The speed looked a lot better for Chris, but I think you're right, he seems to, the pace of his game seems to have quickened. He's up very, very quick on the mark. Just breaking up that nasty 4-9 split. Once again, covers the spare. So now the pressure back on Mark Ramsey. He's looking for three in a row, commonly known as a turkey in 10 pin bowling terms. Well, judging by the last four shots, he seems locked in. He's using the wine new dot there, very well waxed up. In other words, that allows the ball to go a little bit straighter, a little bit longer on the lane. Cuts down the breaking point for him. Come on. Urging at home. He's starting to get a roll. He's looking really solid now, Mark. He's calling the ball to come on. He knows when he sends it out there, he's got the thumb out well. Holds, sits in front of the pocket, and yeah, another one. A beautiful execution. The ball just touching the necessary four pins that time to execute the strike. Seeded fifth in the tournament for uh, advancing after a win over Steve Lovell. During the seedings, he had a game high of 267. He's on par for a 226 in this match. Deep in concentration, Mark Ramsey. Yes! A lovely wall shot that time. That was smart play by Mark. He's on a turkey, he's looking good. He just sends the ball out just that board further. Let's it hold. Watch it come back off the gutter. Light mix up. Yeah, he rides that one well. Now the ice man. What can he come up with? Oh, he Ooh. comes up with a good reply. Great response. Chris is one of the talented bowlers in our country who are able to send the ball sailing out, give it heaps of room, and let it come back. 
Well, we'll come back in a moment with Mark Ramsey, his nose in front, 11 pins over Chris Batson. Back in a moment on Nine's Wide World of Sports. 90 gold pin Coca-Cola Classic, a showdown between Brisbane and Sydney. Mark Ramsey from Brisbane and Chris Batson from Sydney. Batson at the moment trailing by 11 pins. He's got a strike up. He needs to strike out here for a 2.05 game, whereas Mark Ramsey is on target for a 2.26. Let's see what the man nicknamed Iceman can come up with. Once again, a problem with that lane. The ball breaking that fraction sooner for Chris and jumping up through the nose. He slightly modified his shot, gave it a little bit more room. Good depth on the lane, sends it out towards the gutter, but jumping too hard at the end. Ooh. Disappointing finish for him. That's a tough cluster because if you, you know, the hardest thing to do is to, is to get that back pin. As we see here, the cluster of four pins, he's got the ball to cover the back pin, but in doing so, has left the two in the right-hand corner. Mark Ramsey now has to stay clean, and that's all he has to do to win this match over Chris Batson. Imperative now for Ramsey to strike out. That would give him 226 and help him in the step ladder final. The seedings with that. All the pins count in your previous matches. Yeah. He's coming home like a train. That's five in a row. He is looking really good. He looks like it just doesn't worry him out there. He's just getting the ball, swinging it out through his target, trusting his target, the ball sitting up beautifully, and he likes it. As we see, riding the ball, riding the ball, come on, yeah! Punches the sky. That uh, ball actually looked fairly high on the head pin, but it doesn't matter as long as they mix up and go on the pit. Let's see what he can do this time. Bit tight, right, And Brooklyn. Letting him a nine count, converting the spare will give Mark a 215. Really good game for him. That particular shot was a little bit softer. He knew that he had the game won. Over to the right hand side of the head pin. Pins deflecting, and he's left with a solitary five pin. Yeah. Makes it safely. That's it for Mark Ramsey. He is successful. 215 to 171 over Chris Batson. Ramsey through to the step ladder final. While Chris Batson bows out in the 1990 Gulpin Coca-Cola Classic.